Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Dab of Football, the series where we bring you the best memes, the best goals, and the best highlights from around the football world. On this week's episode, we had an international break, and we saw a stunner from Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe one of the best goals of the year. Also this week, one of the biggest clubs in Europe is changing their logo back to what their logo looked like 100 years ago. And we have a Cole Palmer sighting at a drive through probably on his way to get some chippy chips, if I had to guess. Prepare to lock in for another episode. So roll the intro. All right, no club football this week. No Premier League, La Liga, Liga, and Serie A. So we're not going to roll inside the Premier League. Well, I just did, but we're actually, we're not talking about anything Premier League related. Instead, it's international break. So we start going around the world. And we start with Brazil versus Venezuela here. Again, it's an international break. Um, and the sprinklers went off on the field mid-match. That is South American football at its finest. Uh, even the people in the stadium are tired of these international breaks, man. They're, they want these games over with ASAP too, just like us. Does anyone else feel like it's almost every other week that an international break is happening? All right, here it is. This is the team that changed their logo. Ajax is going back to the logo that they used in 1928. And in my opinion, more clubs need to start doing this. All right, first off, the old logo that they're going back to is one of the coolest, most detailed logos in all of football. Ajax, you you get five booms for that. Mm, this gets a really big boom! <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to do that. I'm sorry. And you have a club like Spurs, who in this same week announced they're changing their logo too. Look what they're changing it to. It's the same logo, except maybe like a different shade of like blue. And then they're getting rid of Tottenham Hotspur on their logo. <sighs> is this serious? Now, this is a club right here that I think 100% they need to go back to the old logo. Juventus, man. That old logo. Why did they change it? That is one of the worst logos in all of football, their new one. In the comments, let me know a football club that has just an incredible old logo that they need to revert back to. Because I feel like so many teams are like this. And then you have Domino's absolutely trolling Spurs. Um, they said, very pleased with our new logo. Domino's is always on top of the game when it comes to trolling football clubs. Back to the international break. And um, this happened at a match between Mexico and Honduras. I believe this is the Honduran coach. Watch this. He gets hit in the head with like a full can of beer and then just casually goes and shakes the hand of the opposing coach. And look at the side of his head, man. He got messed up. Nah, I can't even show it. I feel like I have to blur that. YouTube will definitely like demonetize this. Yeah. I don't know if that's the Mexican coach though or the Honduran coach. I stand corrected. It is apparently the Mexico coach hit in the head by a can of beer in Honduras. Yo, you Honduran fans, man, need to chill. Everyone down there, Latin America, South America, you guys have the most mental fans in all of sports for the good and for the bad. I right, shout out, cool moment for Harry Kane. He got his own statue, which I feel like is very rare to get a statue of yourself when you haven't even retired yet. Bro has a statue of himself before he's won a single trophy. That's absolutely absurd. It actually looks decent though, uh, especially compared to the old Ronaldo statue. Oh, look at this. <laughs> of course, the comments already know what's up, man. Yeah. <sighs> Genuinely one of the worst statues of all time. Does anyone know, is this statue still around? Did it get memed so hard that it got destroyed or did they keep it up? I have no idea. Right, on to Norway, on to Erling Haaland. He just scored a hat trick in his latest international game. Can we also talk about these Norway shirts? These are so good. One of the reasons I bring this up too is because as this video is uploaded, I am actually headed to Norway. I'm first stopping in the capital, Oslo, and then I'm heading up to Tromso to visit the world's most Northern club. I played with them in FIFA and now I'm going to visit them. It's literally a club on top of the world, basically. So I'll have some content on that out very soon. If you are from Norway and see me, make sure to say hello. But yes, back to Holland in Norway. His run for his country has been insane. 39 games, 37 goals, and three assists is absurd. All right, boys, up next, let's check out the goals of the week. And yes, it was the international break, but we had some crazy goals. And we're gonna start with Portugal, who had three goals of the week in one game, starting with Rafael. Liao, who started this run from the opposing end, sprints all the way up the field. He gets fed a ball into the middle, diving header. Absolutely absurd finish. And again, this is just goal one of three from Portugal. The next one we showed in the intro, it is Cristiano Ronaldo with this overhead bicycle kick goal. I feel like we haven't seen a staple goal like this from Ronaldo in so long, but it's good to see him back scoring bangers for Portugal. And of course, 
course, the Suey. Hey, people say I'm a Ronaldo hater. I'm not. I really like Ronaldo. I just really wish he didn't go to Saudi Arabia, man. Like, I genuinely thought that was a horrible decision for his career. Good decision for his bank account, though. Oh, and then how about this from Bruno Fernandez? Again, all of these are in the same game. Look at this long shot from Bruno. Crossbar down on the finish. World Cup is two years away. I don't know, man. Portugal, are they gonna be one of the top teams? I just, Ronaldo might be too old, which is really sad to say. All right, we don't show many women's football highlights on this show, but this one is genuinely incredible. This is um from one of the American teams. Look at this fake shot. Two defenders deeped out, and then the goalkeeper gets deeped out as well. That is a goal of the year candidate right there. Right, this next clip I'm about to play is a goal from Zlatan, man. Zlatan still has it. Watch this, man. He's just playing a little indoor match. Just a casual, casual scorpion kick. Did you see that too? He like pointed. He was making sure someone recorded that. Here it is in slow-mo. Zlatan still has it. What a finish. I mean, there's no goalie, but still. Yeah, look at him after. He's like, yo, where's the camera? Where's the camera? Zlatan is a top five all-time player for me. He is, I miss Zlatan so much. Or from the international break, how about this goal right here from Switzerland? Look at this assist with the head and then a finish right in the corner. And then we got a goal of the week from England here. Look at the back heel from Curtis Jones. Crazy finish, man. England, I think you, got, you guys beat Italy, right? I think you guys crushed Italy, actually. All right, we got to add a save of the week in the goals of the week. Check this out, man. This is uh this is a mental save. Look at this. Wait for it. Goalkeeper falls down and then somehow still kicks his legs up and makes the save. Yo, I mean Chelsea need a keeper. Get this man in there. He'll be better than Sanchez. Yeah, get that man to Chelsea. All right, so many goals this week. Up next, an Inter Miami U10 player. A U10 goalkeeper as well. Watch this banger. A goalkeeper. Top Bins. Inter Miami Youth Academy. How wild does it have to be to be playing in the Inter Miami Youth Academy right now? Like Messi, all these Youth Academy players train in the same, basically on the same fields that Messi and Inter Miami do. Like that has to just be wild as a player to be training alongside Messi at 10 years old. And our last goal of the week, you gotta wait for this one. Through on goal, it's a 1v1 with the keeper and this goalkeeper, man, RIP. Say a, say a prayer for that goalkeeper. Those are our goals of the week. Up next, it is time to go 60 seconds in America. I'm going to make a promise to you guys we're actually going to be under 60 seconds this week. There's not much to talk about. The international break was happening, so the MLS playoffs had to take a week off, but they are here this weekend, and I'm going to make my predictions for the rest of the MLS playoffs. I think LA Galaxy win it all this year. Those are my predictions. And I saw this over the weekend, and I had to bring this up in the segment today. Here are the locations of MLS teams as if they were in Europe. Yo, when you guys start hating on MLS, realize how much these players have to travel in. This is also a reason why I feel like, you know, some players might not want to come to MLS. This does not seem fun to do this much travel. It also just goes to show like, I mean, yeah, Euro European countries are so freaking small compared to well, just the USA as a whole. And we end 60 seconds in America with this massive news massive news for my hometown club cincinnati we have just made or we are about to make in the january transfer window the most expensive signing in mls history and it is for this dude i have just found out he existed i had no idea who he was 17 million dollars from a guy from the belgium league his name is kevin Denki. That was 60 seconds in America. Um, I think we were under, or if not, maybe just like a few seconds over. I don't know. I can't see it, but you can. And up next, it is time for meme mode. We got our memes of the week, and we're going to start in the Serie C, the third division in Italy. Check out this coach to one of his players. Um, I don't think you could do that. Hey, I mean, coach is the boss, right? So, I mean, I guess, but like that, that's assault. Okay, this feels illegal. Argentina and Brazil are like massive rivals, right? I'm pretty sure, but this guy is a fan of both, I guess. I mean, I guess it makes sense. There are probably people out there who have like one parent from Brazil, one parent from Argentina. So this, I guess, could happen. But also, what is he saying? Can someone translate in the comments? Uh, I have no idea. This is genuinely hilarious. Cole Palmer spotted at the drive-thru of is it McDonald's. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's on her hat. Okay, it is McDonald's. Does McDonald's serve chippy chips? They must. Also, the drive through workers doing the Cole Palmer celebration. There's another picture. What else is it? Okay, it's just a zoom in on Cole Palmer's face. Cole Palmer's such a legend, man. All right, this is an old meme, but this is when Aguero used to stream, and he used his Premier League player of the like, match trophy as a stand for his camera. This was a wild time. This was. I feel like this was during COVID. 
This was when like football players were like streaming on Twitch uh, because they obviously had nothing else to do. All right, up next, we have a wild tackle. Look at this, man. Guy on the ball. I thought he was gonna do like a crazy scale in the no. I mean, just gets flipped over. I didn't see the referee call anything either, man. Look at this again. What kind of tackle is that? Imagine he got away with that. I think he might have. All right, any Uruguayans out there, I really need context with this next clip. So we have Darwin Nunez here, right? And then we have like the ball boys filming him, right? This is like on the sideline during a match. Watch what happens. Um, Darwin he falls over the wall. Like what is happening in this clip? The ball boys... Uh, like that is the most unprofessional thing ever and then Dar they like trip darwin nunez and he falls anything goes during these international breaks man there are no rules yeah for some reason in morocco's game the referee wouldn't let one of the players who was being subbed off high five his teammate I'm not sure why this happened i'm guessing like he just thought he was gonna time waste or something so he's just like nah man get, get off the pitch again though there are like the rules during these international breaks man it's so funny okay um I don't know what's going on here. L some sort of luchador wrestling. This is in the Mexican league. I'm guessing it has to be. Uh, they do the craziest stunts during halftime and they have luchador wrestlers out here. I have no idea how this clip is gonna end. I'm assuming this guy's gonna have to take a penalty. Here we go. He scored, that's nice. Look at this though. This is like Mexico, man. I love my Mexican brethren from across the border. Oh my God, he looks genuinely injured. Is this guy okay? You know, the US, we have like the Super Bowl halftime shows this right here who oh, is it kendrick lamar at the super bowl this year nah forget him i want these i want this at the super bowl but actually can we get like an rip in the comments for this guy this dude might be dead yo did anyone know the medium all had a brother who's like i mean this kid's like a one year old this kid is this is, this is a legit child. I mean, I guess we also forget the fact that Laminia Mal is also basically a child, too. He's only 16. Need some context for this clip, but I don't have any. Um, it's it's more on the referee. Focus on the referee. Um, yeah, wh what's that? These clips are always funny, man. Like, what? look how tiny the goals are as well. We have zero context to what is happening as well. This guy, though, does have the moves, I will say. All right, that is it for meme mode. We are going to end this video with B Ford's Ballon d'Or. Every week, I give out a Ballon d'Or award to a player, a team, a fan who did something worthy of winning the Ballon d'Or. It goes to Ajax this week for changing their logo back. We already talked about it. More clubs need to do this, man. This is incredible. I love that they are setting this standard. I want to see more clubs revert back. And that is going to do it for this video. Again, I'm starting to post a series in the main channel. We might go back to the second channel. So if you're not subscribed to that one right here, and also we have the full like series playlist as well, if you guys haven't seen all the episodes, um, that is going to do it. Hope to see you boys next week.